What's going on there guys? Good afternoon, good Friday afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this June 10th, 2022 date. About 12.15 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.7 earthquake here. Around the Mediterranean area it looks like. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here on the USGS map. Uh, showing some activity around the globe, around the flat scale model. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of swarming out, out here around the eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea, around Cyprus area, Crete. Seeing a little bit of swarming movement, uh, including a 5.0 that kicked up yesterday within that region. So uh, kind of watching this area it has been under the gun from eastward pressure movement or westward pressure movement, I should say, from the east uh, over the last couple days or so. I do want to jump in real quick here before we get to the rest of the, uh, the map. Showing a little bit of earthquake activity here around the Yellowstone National Park up here around the northwest corner of Yellowstone. Seen quite a few spikes here on the recorded seismogram uh, looking like at probably at least a good 20 or 30 small quakes within this area of Yellowstone National Park. That activity also showing up here around the Purple Mountain and Maple Creek area on those distinct uh, seismograph stations. The rest of the park looks pretty quiet as um, far as magnitudes go. Let me check here and see if the USGS has issued anything uh, in terms of those quakes. Looks like they have surprisingly, but uh, only, a, only a little portion of them it looks like. But hey, um, I'll take seven over not reporting anything. So these guys have seven earthquakes. Uh, largest one looks to be a 2.0 uh, so far in this little swarm of activity. That kind of kicked up overnight there in this area of Yellowstone National Park. But again, if you look at this here, definitely a lot more than seven. They're probably only counting these uh, these little bit larger ones, but gotta remember a lot of these other little spikes are also earthquakes, but uh, just much smaller. So uh, the multitudes are there. There's quite a few of them, but the magnitudes are just not super uh, intense right now. And like I said, the largest one appears to be a 2.0 uh, that kicked off, uh, looks like last uh, yesterday sometime. All right, guys, uh, let's see what else we got backing out of this area of the states. Uh, a little bit of activity around the west coast. We've seen some movement, uh, of course, yesterday kick up here around the northern part of California, around the Cascadia, uh, and also up here in the northeastern portion of California, uh, around the town of Likely, California. Very shallow earthquake up there, uh, kind of towards the eastern crest of Sierra Nevada, right before you get, actually, there's a little valley that this whole region sits in south of Altura, Susanville area and it looks like it's right off of the likely uh, fault zone here in this area of northern california so well just it's been a while since we've seen any type of activity there so a little bit of movement kicking up uh, here around the cobb mountain area looks like things are starting to fill back in about 20 earthquakes or so around the geysers california hydrothermal field out there uh, pretty good uptick compared to days past where we've seen only a handful each day uh, looking throughout the center portion of California a little bit of movement around Long Valley Super Volcano and getting a swarm of activity here across the southern portion uh, looks like just right around the Tehachapi area west and east of there now this is all north of the Garlock Fault shear zone uh, there's a little separate shear function fault system here called the White Fault uh, White Wolf Zone it's kind of showing some activity there stretching across in this fashion uh, but nothing specifically right now on the uh, garlock fault itself uh, further down south a little bit of movement into the southern california region uh, a couple small little microquakes kicking off there no major swarms to report though in this area of southern cal uh, up through utah low activity stretching up towards the yellowstone area seeing that uh, all that microquake activity in that fashion some movement outside of uh, the Pecos, Texas area once again, and also Midland. Seen a couple twos and some threes out there. Uh, one earthquake here in the Oklahoma City area, just outside Oklahoma City it looks like. Uh, 1.2. Got a little bit of activity here around the uh, Kentucky area. Now this sits way outside of the New Madrid zone, up against the uh, northern, northern part of the Appalachian Mountains. 2.2. Uh, I think that Hayden, is that right? Hayden, Kentucky? 1.6 kilometers for that earthquake eastern part of the country aside from that it's pretty quiet uh, some puerto rico activity kicking up 
over the uh, last 24 hours, including quite a few threes here uh, towards the northern part of the, well, the southern part of the Puerto Rico Trench once again. Uh, this area has been seeing quite a bit of activity uh, scattered out and about here around this um, subduction zone area. Uh, today, a couple more in that region. South America, some activity around Peru and the Ecuador area. With a couple of fours kicking off there. Even a 4.4 at 77.7 .7 down into the, uh, the Peru-Chile Trench right there. Atlantic Ocean, as we zoom out, looks pretty quiet out there. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, one earthquake out here in the uh, Southern Pacific, East Pacific Rise. Looks like a 4.9. Uh, Hawaii shown some activity as well over the last 24 hours. No major uptick uh, at the volcanoes currently. Just some microquakes around Pahala. Once again, an activity up around the uh, Kilauea Volcano and also Mauna Loa. All seeing a little bit of microquake activity today. Uh, nothing going on throughout the Fiji Islands area uh, or down through the Kermadec Trench. The New Zealand region definitely seen some activity, but we got to go down to the EMSC model and go down a, even a little bit further to their map to see the twos and threes that are kind of kicking off here uh, in this area. Uh, seeing this activity on the map, looks like even the most recent one, a 3.0, around the North Island, New Zealand area. Seen a couple twos and threes kicking up there, but no, uh, no activity above the 4.0 threshold today. And uh, some movement outside of the Indonesia region. One earthquake up here off the coast of Japan. This one pretty deep though. This one came in late last night into the Japan Trench. A 5.0 at 63.9 kilometers. Let's see what else we got here. Trimmer map last night was uh, not, not super hot. About 52 epicenters of Trimmer uh, is about it. No major movement going on there at the moment. Uh, Mount St. Helens. Check out these seismograph stations here real quick at this volcano. See if there's any abnormal uh, activity that we can spot. And looks like about the same, folks, uh, this morning and overnight. Just a couple small microquakes there in these uh, little spikes. Not a whole lot. Definitely not a whole lot. Looks like it may be calming down a little bit. Uh, space weather is something kind of kicking up. I know we did an update last night, but this kind of shows you how quick things can change on the sun, right? Uh, looks like we had uh, a newly assigned sunspot region, which is named 3030, uh, kicked off a M1 flare. Well, the uh, X-ray flux uh, kind of approached the M1 threshold, and uh, that's from a, a new developing sunspot. Uh, Let's see here what we got. It looks like it did reach up into the lower M category. It's starting to crackle and pop pretty significantly. This comes after well, about seven days or so, even more than that, of very quiet conditions on the sun. But uh, yeah, it looks like things are starting to kick up now. That's uh, pretty cool, I think. It is facing, or it will be facing Earth here in the coming days right now. It is uh, way out there on the... Uh, I don't even think they have it listed here on the map. Let's see, 3030. Got to be one of these. Let me see what we got here. There it is. It's going to be this one. You just barely see it here on the far eastern limb. Um, and that's going to be in good position here uh, as it comes across and faces Earth uh, for possible um, further flaring uh, in the coming days. It's going to be in good position uh, to be geo-effective if something does pop off. Uh, on the sun so uh, we'll watch that pretty closely uh, right now these guys issuing a 60 percent chance of a c flare m flare at uh, 10 percent x flare around one and um like i say it's looking pretty uh looking pretty crazy over there but we'll get a little bit better view as things rotate uh and uh, give us a better shot at that uh sunspot looking at it right now it's it's kind of hard to see this is going to be 30-30 out here on the far eastern limb. But uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like a little bit later tonight uh, or tomorrow. Uh, and uh, hopefully get a better uh, opportunity. Maybe seeing some significant flares kicking off here on the sun. So, all right, guys, have a good day. We'll be back a little bit later tonight uh, with a uh, Friday night update. Probably around, uh, we'll do about 7 o'clock time frame or so. It's hot. 
supposed to be 108 here in California right now, uh, Northern California, and uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good. I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of the heat, let me tell you. So uh, I'm just trying to stay cold, trying to stay outside of the heat, or stay try to stay inside, outside of uh, from that scorching sun out there today. It's very very hot. So. All right, guys, we'll chat you Friday night update coming up here about seven o'clock my time, West Coast time. And uh, like I say, just uh, be uh, be on guard out here. Like I said, we've definitely seen a lot of activity through the Middle America Trench up in the portions of uh, well, off Baja, California and the Northern California area. Looks like, uh, let's see, there was a 4.2 down there in the Gulf. I don't think we had seen that on the... USGS map did we let's double check that I want to see here a lot of times these guys yeah they're not reporting that uh, let's check EMSC because that's where kind of that where some of that data is coming from yeah they had a uh, 4.2 there in the uh, Gulf region uh, or Baja California I should say right down there looks like uh, that one occurring just a short time ago so EMSC on top of it usgs definitely not showing anything here i mean i'm refreshing it nothing showing up checking the all magnitudes here so uh with all that activity popping up here got definitely got to watch the western coast here pretty closely um we've seen a broad area along the west coast regionally and inland into the great basin area uh, for sure sure sign of uh some uh pressure built up there's already a lot of pressure built up. The thing is, how much is it going to take to pop up, to, to get some of these faults popping? We'll see, right? All right, guys, we'll see you back here at eh, 7 o'clock for the Friday night update show. Till then, take care. Stay cool. If you're in the heat like me, we'll chat you guys then. Stay safe.